Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Thomas Bros. Woo! Playing Sonic Adventure 2 again, and this will be the last episode. Uh, we beat the game already, but we're gonna be doing the Chow Garden, so... You know, the funny thing is, like, you said we were doing Sonic tonight. This is a new session, by the way. You said we are doing Sonic tonight. I completely forgot where we left off last time, and I forgot that we beat the game. <laughs> And, but, I mean, like, I knew just now going into it already, but, like, you and you were like, I, I'm, we're gonna do, like, a Chow Garden episode. And I was like, uh, okay. Are we? Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, yeah, we beat it already. <laughs> I, like, totally forgot that we already beat the fucking game already. <laughs> it's just, I was, like, so fucked up that night. <laughs> that, not, like, drunk, but more, like, I don't know, like, stressed out. And uh -huh. tired, just from, like, the house shit and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because I think we were still waiting on whether or not I was going to be accepted. Cause, yeah. We... Oh, yeah, because it wasn't until Easter. Yeah. That's right, yeah. So when we were, when we last recorded, I, di I, di I didn't know if we were, I was going to get that house that we looked at, but I did. So I got accepted for that house. And um, we've already done the walkthrough and everything, and so now it's just a... In a, ma a matter of moving in a month, you know? Alright, now you gotta beat the fucking level. Yeah. Whoa. Um, yeah. So, uh, so it's very exciting. I'm very excited to move into a house. It's gonna be pretty, pretty fucking rad. We can finally record at night again. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's crazy how, uh, how influential this show was into making me get a house, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like well, it was kind of the last straw, you know? Yeah, it's, well, yeah, that's what we were saying before. It's kind of like, there were lots of reasons why, of course, I would want to move into a house, but the point when I was like, okay, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna start looking, Yeah, was when I got the noise complaint, because it's like, I can, like, live with everything else at the apartment, like I have for three years, but, like, not being able to do Super Thomas Bros, it's kind of like, okay, now's the, the yeah. moment when I'm like, I want to, I don't, I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's not only that, too, but, like, you know, having a neighbor that's above you that's going to, like, complain by ta because you're talking loudly after 10. Yeah. It's like, that's not just Super Thomas Bros, that's, like, just... You know that's true. Just be like pretty much like like if, if I came over for the you know yeah over for the weekend you know we make noise later on at night just because it's like um you know we're watching like a movie or something like that we're or like just, laughing like, uh, or playing games and shit it's yeah. just like I'm enjoying fucking life and it's just that volume happens when that it's just like I don't know so. He can enjoy his fucking shitty ass one bedroom apartment. He's probably a grown ass man. He has to fucking have a shitty apartment. Fuck him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've lived there for three years. <laughs> yeah. No, whatever. I mean, he's just an asshole. And now that I'm moving out, I'm not too as worried about it. But I still don't really want to do nighttime recordings. Yeah, because this that seems to be like the really big thing that he can hear. Because it's at night in my bedroom, which is right below his bedroom. So he's trying to sleep, which apparently he fucking goes to bed early. Um, so we're in the chow... Yeah, here we are. Yeah. We're in the chow garden. This yes. Is, this is what made this game, like... There's already decent. a chow Hey. Oh, there's... What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, is this from the last save? Remember how, like... Is that... Is it JoJo and Ajax? No, they they don't have names. Well, here wait. What the fuck? I wanted a hatchet. Well, this this is a this is fresh meat right there. Yeah, what's going on? That's that's weird. You... But it already has like some stats. Yeah, yeah like there's some run stats. What the fuck there. is going on? That's crazy. You this is the first time we got we you unlocked the key, right? Yeah, we never it was in the menu there, it wasn't like, we never unlocked it or anything. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, so... So here's the chow garden. You get to raise chow and f make them fight with each other. It's yeah, well, crazy. kind of. You have to You have to get the DLC to have the karate. Yeah, well, the karate, but you can still he can kick race. ass and, yeah, kick ass and raise. Yeah. Um, when... So, when I was in, like, fifth and sixth Whoa. grade... Uh, I was hooked on this game. Like, I could not stop playing this game. The GameCube version. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. 
It was like my jam, but it was mostly because of the chow. It, it, it had like almost nothing to do with the game itself. It was all about the chow. Like I would come home and fucking yeah, take care of the far, chow. Farm animals, that, kind of. We had like a cheat system to. Uh, oh, you got to bring a chow in. Yeah, that's, I forgot. Um, there's so like okay so, uh, it's basically these little fucking creatures that like you you there's like running and flying and swimming and and power and stamina. These stats that you can see when he picks him up, you can see him there. Uh, that you can that help improve like you know the races that you can you know have them participate in. Uh, this Chow Kindergarten thing is kind of like a center. Less like this will show the stats that it has. Uh, let's see, see the doctor. Yeah. Let's oh no, see. this is useless. You have to oh, go to yeah. medical chart. That's right. There, I remember there was a time I think where he, like he was sick, yeah. yeah, or something. Okay, so there's an A in running. Yeah, which... so so like every Chow has these abilities, and so like it's it's got really bad stamina. So like if you leveled up its stamina completely, it wouldn't be that great. But if you leveled up its running, this Chow would be really really fast. So like different Chow have different like uh, capacities f for skill for certain things right yeah um so like uh uh you you want a chow that has like the high you know and it's completely random essentially when you buy a new egg like in here you can just kind of i think you can buy an egg somewhere in here or maybe not oh maybe not yet maybe you have to wait until yeah i can't, yeah, I can't remember how you get other eggs for chows and you can and then like you can have like eight of them in your garden uh, and, like, if you want any more, you have to, like, essentially throw it away. It's, like, the saddest thing ever. Yeah. Um, but, like, the craziest thing to me when I was a kid was that you could, um, breed Chow. And it would, it would, like, blend their stats. So if you had, like, a Chow that had really good running and a Chow that had really good flying and you, and you bred them together, there's a chance that the child would have really good both. So, like, I was, like, way into this game trying to get a chow. And, like, it, it goes past A to S. S oh, was, yeah. like, the best. Um, and, uh... What was the area where I could get, um, farm cheetahs? It was a Pumpkin tales Hill. Oh, it was Pumpkin yeah. Hill. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like, I would try to breed chow to get, like, all S. And, like, have, like, this fucking amazing chow. But it, it took a long time. It was really hard to do. Um, I think... No, it wasn't up here. It was another hill. Uh, find another rocket. Maybe that one. Yeah, let's see. No, not that one. It's taller. I think it's the tallest one. Oh, I thought it... I remember it being back here. Of like some weird muscle memory thing That's, going on. Yeah, because we would just get so many fucking uh, animals. Yeah, because you get the animals. You, yeah, it's you, up here. Here it is. Yeah. God, it's so weird how I remember that. After how long has it been? Fifteen years. I would. Let's see. I okay. So like fifth grade, right? Uh huh. That was that was nine eleven. That was two thousand one. Yeah. So yeah, fifteen years. Since we played yeah. this game, yeah, and I still remember that you can farm cheetahs here. <laughs> um, that's fucking wild, man. Yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I remember, like, I was really good where I could just kind of fly backwards with that. Because you just do this, like, hundreds of times. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is essentially just what you would do. You would you'd get a shitload of... Of and animals. now you're getting cheetahs because he's good it, at running. Yeah. Right? You're going to make him oh. a running... Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, like, you, it's it's beneficial to have Chow sometimes that, that specialize in certain skill, I think. But for the most part, you want it to be good at everything. Stamina is kind of like whatever. Yeah. Because there's a certain point where even if you have an E stamina Chow, like we do, like this one. Uh -huh. um, by the way, you should check the other Chow, too, when we get back and see yeah. what it's got. Um, if you, uh, max out its stamina, even with E, if you max it out, 
you'll still be able to like it it almost won't really even make a difference in the races and and when we do a race you'll see why like what the stamina does in a race this is by far the most like analytical whoa um wait was there a restart level you're out of lives oh oh shit you don't need more than this i think you're fine here all right so then how do i um it's just exit right yeah, that's right, yeah. But I don't have the, uh... Oh, it's, I think it's dependent on not the character that gets the, um, the animals. It's if you're... Light or, or dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you remember how to do this, right? Yeah, so there's a... There's this weird... Tr okay, so when you feed animals to the chow, it will give certain stats. And certain animals have give you more blocks than others in certain areas. So... So he just gave him a cheetah, gave him four running blocks right there. And, okay, so two, four. Four, it looks like it's always game. So you can see it really, like, he's about to, like, level up running already yeah. right now. But the thing is, you're only supposed to be able to use every animal once. But there's this weird trick where if you drop it just... right in front of the... Oh, you're going to fuck it up. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, like, it's hard to do because the chow starts to move after yeah. a while. So if you don't do it quick enough, you, um... Oh, fuck. The uh, chow might walk nice. into you, yeah. And, and I could just tell just by looking to see if he got it. So, like, if you just drop it right in front of it, you can reuse the same animal over and over again. And I would fucking do this for hours. Yeah. I had, like, a crazy attention span for some reason doing this. And just, like, in a sitting... I could get the the running level from four to ninety nine, um, you know it's fucking crazy. So um, uh, the A B C ranking, you see how like he, it's got a hundred and forty two on the running right now, and then he's gonna level up right here, and it goes to one hundred and sixty six, right? So that A B C rating is a multiplier, which converts the level to a score. That one, that one seventy, one ninety three, right there. So that one ninety three is like you is is how fast it runs. Essentially, that's like ultimately how fast it's gonna run. So it's the level times your multiplier, which is either S, A, B, C, D, or E. I don't know what the numerical ones is, but you could probably calculate it based on... So it's probably 24. Yeah, because it, it was at 10. Yeah, like... And a, then it's at... Well, yeah, it's about that, because well, it's at 67. Yeah, so let's see, so... Oh, oh, oh shit, shit, he took the other one. Oh, and he ate it too, didn't he? Yeah, probably. Well, I got a bunch of other cheetahs. You you go... Oh, and also you can see it, it gives... Uh, like He's got like cheetah ears and, and stuff too. Yeah. Um, yeah, like a tail and stuff. So like different animals will give him... Uh, you, you know, there's like bird wings and shit like that. Yeah, so you condors can, and that's stuff. That's like purely aesthetic. But um, oh, oh, fuck. Crap. Yeah, he actually ate it. So to try to pick it up. That, yeah, that so if cheetah, I try to pick it up... Yeah, you, I can't pick it up. Yeah, so that's it's used. So if you leave the garden and come back, you probably should actually, because then it'll reset it'll, all the ones that I've. Yeah, it, well, it'll get rid of it. And you won't get confused and try to pick up one that's been used up or not, whatever. Fuck it. Well, maybe after this one, because there's only two that I messed up on. But yeah, like like you could see how like you can kind of get in this. Oops, you can get in this cycle where you're like feeding the chow. Yeah, just back and forth, back and forth, and, like, if he starts moving, you pet him. And then he kind of sits there for a second. Yeah, and so, yeah, it, it gets crazy. It's, like, super farmy, but, um, this was, like, the first, like, farmy thing I ever did in yeah. a video game ever as a kid, I think, was this shit. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know how high you're, how high you're gonna go up on running. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at the same, like, Probably by now I could beat like all the other Chow and running. At least the for races. the early races. Yeah, but um, how about you go up to twenty? Twenty. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, there's other stuff too. So like, um, there's like a special animal called a skeleton dog, and if you feed a skeleton dog to a Chow once, just all it needs to do is just once. Um, it has the ability to um, 
put things on put, its head, put right? things on its head. So like eggshells or skulls or pumpkins. There's like certain items that it's able to like wear on its head, like a hat. Um, and you have to feed it a skeleton dog once for it to be able to do that. Oh, I'm at 20. Yeah, you're good now. Oh, you got to take the other chat of the doctor and see what's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can name your chow, too. I I almost feel like the, it was JoJo and Ajax when we were first yeah. playing it, right? Because I remember one of them had, like, the big smile, and then the other one... But at the same time, I remember you I You were farming. Yeah. Were, yeah, that's right, huh? That's weird. Uh, uh, running is its best. This is like but... a mid-tier chow. Like, mid across the board. Uh, mid-low. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah, fuck this shit. sucks. Send him off to die. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him. Um. So, uh, another thing about the chow is that eventually they evolve. There's two sets of evolutions for chow. So, right now, both of these chow are babies. Um, and you can tell because, uh... It's like the head, right, or something? Yeah, well, yeah, it's their shape and their color and um, the fact that they're the things floating above their heads are... Um, what are you doing? I was going to maybe get some otters. Oh, okay. Um, That's tails. Tails in, in that... Mil it was this one, right? Uh, yeah. Prison lane. I think. It might have also been the... Um... I think it was this yeah. one. Yeah. I farmed Isn't it something just kind of like here. hanging around? Yeah. Or maybe it was like a pipe or something. There was like the oh pipe yeah, there's like can... a pipe that you like whistle into. But I, it probably wasn't this far into the level because usually we would we would find the the levels to farm the best animals. Yeah. And like maybe it was back here actually. Oh yeah, maybe it was. There was like a pipe or something, or maybe in no, not in there. I, I t I'm this is like fucking clicking in my head yeah, right now. You know right. what I mean? Right? It's just like uh climb up on those G boxes. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's totally it. So you gotta reset. Yeah, you lose a life. When you yeah. Lose. I don't remember that being the case. Yeah, I don't remember but that. But maybe either. we also had like tons of lives. So you gotta shoot the I remember yeah. having to do this. I remember being really precise with that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, those other things, by the way. So there's animals, and then there's those tube things, which are called drives. And the drives are basically the same thing. So green is swimming. No, so green is running, I th think. Oh, yeah, green is running, yellow swimming, red is power, purple is flying. That's right. I th Wait. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, yeah, I seem to remember red being power. Yeah. Um, By the way, I think I remember now. So, like, in this case, because I'm out of lives, if I get this, okay. I, we would just go to exit. And then restart it. Yeah, and then right. because you start with all your lives again. Yeah, that, oh, that's right, yeah. But I think that five is probably enough yeah. otters. So the chaos drives do the same thing. They are, you know, like the... the they oh well actually they suck because the animals give you usually they give you other stuff too besides the main thing right um uh huh uh like like otter's gonna give you a lot of swimming but um it gives you like something else it, it might give you also a tiny bit of running too or it, it actually kind of takes away a little bit from other ones but it won't yeah, oh, it, yeah take, it, it takes, takes power. power but it won't drop down below that level four it'll take the blocks away but like. It's not going to go down to zero. Yeah, it, it, like that's as far down as it'll go. But the block, the individual blocks, those blue blocks, it's just progress towards a level. You can see that the number doesn't change until he levels up. And again, the number is what matters. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the chaos, dri those drives are like, you can't do this trick. Or you can do this trick, but it's like a lot harder to do. Yeah. Um, so that's already kind of shitty. But also, like, n there's always an animal which will give you a better stat but boost, like the, like the otter. Like, you'll never find a chaos drive that gives you four, five blocks of swimming. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh yeah, the evolution stuff. So, um, after a certain amount of time, a baby chow will go into a cocoon and evolve into an adult. And I don't know how, how it takes hours. Like yeah, in, it probably takes a few hours in the real in game hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, when it evolves, it goes into this adult state. And based on how you treated it in the child state, it changes. So, if you're Sonic, which is a hero character, um. And you can you can see how okay so this is important so the chow that we're fucking with right here is, is white and it has like these blue like blue tips yeah kinda. the blue tips and like the two nubs at the, on the top of the head but if you look at the other chow which we haven't touched at all it's blue with a pointed yellow tip at the end and yellow ends um, and uh, what's going on is that the hero. Uh, Adult chows can either be a, a hero, neutral, or dark. And if you treat it well and you and you nurture it as a hero character, you push it towards the hero side. If you're a dark character, you'll push it towards the dark side. And if you kind of flip flop back and forth, it'll stay neutral. Okay. Oh fuck. Um. So uh, like, if this chow were to evolve right now, oh, crap. God damn it, dude. Well, you know what? It's probably good, good enough. Yeah, I would. T I would say let's take it into a race. Um, another thing. Actually, let me feed it. Oh yeah, stamina. Yeah. Oh, forgot about. Oh yeah, so stamina is by far the biggest pain, and I feel like I'm talking a lot, huh? Well, I mean, it, I'm also. I was focusing on trying to get the yeah. animals. You you kind of have to like focus a little bit on that. You know, like like when you yeah, do that, you got to be in trip. a right spot. Yeah. Um. Come on, eat. So, stamina is the biggest pain in the ass because there's no animal or drive that will Give up you your stamina. stamina. The only way to up the stamina is for it to eat food. But the problem is, you kind you you have to wait for the food to like grow here, um, and also the chows can sometimes not be hungry. They, yeah, if you feed the chow enough, it won't be hungry, and then like you can force it to eat food, and it'll eat a little bit. Um, but it, it'll take forever. So, like, it's definitely the slowest, you know, thing to increase. And it's always, like, if you were to go back in time and look at our fucking memory card file, you'd see Chows with, like, 99 on everything and stamina, like, like four. Five, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's just such a pain. You can see how long this is taking just for him to go up one. And there's different types of fruit, too, that'll... Yeah, that you might might increase the stamina stamina more a little bit, or yeah. um, it, it, if the if the chow's favorite fruit is like a square fruit which you can buy in the black market, then it might eat that more than yeah. the regular fruit and stuff. And I think that those fruits actually up the uh, like give you more stamina too, like like, the like they give fruits. you two blocks instead of one or something like that. Because there's like round fruit, triangle fruit, heart fruit, square fruit. What's funny is that there's heart fruit. And it's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. And so it 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 only adult chows can mate. So, like like these chows wouldn't be able to mate. You'd have to wait for them to become you, adults. Become adults. Yeah. yeah. Um. But uh, if you need the chows to kind of get into the mood to fuck, um, <laughs> and make a baby chow, you uh, give them heart you fruits. give them heart fruits. Yeah. And I I always thought that was funny. Um, another thing about evolution is that not only are there hero, dark, and light, but there's a second form of evolution later on. Um, well, actually, this also applies to the first form. So there's hero, dark, and light, right? But there's also, like, s swimming, flying, running, power, and normal. So there's actually what 15, right? Different types. Yeah. Yeah, so there's different 15 different types of of adult chow. So like if Steven kept giving it running uh, uh, otters, oh, otter otters. over and over and over again like like so many otters, it would push the chow to the point of becoming a hero swimming chow when it evolves, it'll it'll become one. Um and uh when that happens, let's say that your chow is like a bee. Um, yeah, you can name. Yeah. Champ. Champ. No. 
Really, you don't like this name? Do you want a different name? Do I say no? Or do yeah, I just... and then how about you name it yourself? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Whoa. We were cool back then. We would give it Japanese names, not knowing at all what the letters meant. Just <laughs> fucking, just the shapes that. look cool. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was, I'm going to name this one, um, let's see. Uh, uh, Plebis. Plebis. Oh, Plebis. I love them. I love that you can have like fucking weird ass letters okay. and, and brackets and shit too. Like I hate when you're when you're on a letter or, or a selection, it's flashing because it fucks me up. If like like I feel like oh did I go too far? I just feel like it should just be a solid color. Okay, that's sorry. That I mean you feel I just that way. I the mm. little sure. thing I want to okay. Little, look, he's happy. Yeah, he's very happy. Well, you've been fucking feeding him and, and nurturing him the shitload, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing is, like, with these things, you can never... I mean, like, you can, like, force feed it too much and, and it won't eat. But, like, the only way to upset it is to, like, hit it. And you can hit the chow. And it'll yeah. actually... Like, if you hit the chow a bunch as, as a... Sonic, it'll push it towards the dark side just as if you were petting it as, like, Shadow. Yeah, and vice versa. But it'll also traumatize the chow. And, yeah. And, it, and it'll always be, like, screaming and shit. Um, it's kind of fucked up now yeah, that I it say is. it, but it's true. Um, yeah, so we're, you're about to do a race. Yeah. So there's there's different levels of races, but it just starts off with the, the beginner one. Oh, my God. Don't do the crab pool one because... The swimming sound effect. They fucked up that. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, it's just like so, so annoying. So yeah. I'm going to do the... I think this one, the Mushroom Forest, that was the running one. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I want to point something out. Okay, so uh, look at number six. Or two, even. Okay, yeah, two's not that much. Uh, yeah, five and six. You see how it has like points in the back of its head? They all kind of do. Yeah. Um... Those chow are being uh, oh, fucking plebis. Plebis, you fuck. You son of a bitch. Uh, they're being pushed way towards like the the running end of evolution. Uh, so th so they're kind of taking on like a, a sonic shape because the shape of the neutral running chow look like Sonic. Like that's how you make yeah. a chow that looks like Sonic. Um. So, yeah, so in a race, your stamina, you're going to lose. Probably. You didn't boost any, uh... Oh, that was the end right the there. End right oh, there, yeah. I thought it went on. No. Shit. Oh, man. Oh, dang. Plebis. Well, there's actually quite a bit of comp, more than I was expecting. Yeah. Try again. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, well, try again. You can actually get lucky sometimes because you can you might happen to be in a race where there's like all the chow aren't that good. Yeah, you know? and they like trip and stuff. Yeah, yeah. like it can kind of come down to luck sometimes, but for the most part, it's like you have I'm to actually kind of surprised. Like you, you have an A stat in running, and you you brought like it up. Twenty. Yeah, that's I'm kind of surprised actually. Um. So so when he starts so that stamina bar up there it like slowly decreases as he's running um and if it drops down to zero it's essentially like breath of the wild rules it's yeah or like a lot of other video game rules where you run out of stamina and you um you go slow like yeah. you run out of energy it's just it's almost exactly breath of the wild rules like you can have a little boost but it t it eats up a lot of stamina and if you run out you're fucked and you go really, really slow. Yeah. Um, but it also just kind of slowly drains as you climb or run in this case. Uh, but your stamina, when you, if you force feed it food, it'll have more and more stamina. But here's the thing if you have level 99 stamina, even with E, you'll have, because cause the bar will, will hit the end in no time and it'll overlap itself on a different color. So you'll just have these different, like, layers of different colors on this bar. And if you have an A or an S stamina, you'll have, like, fucking seven layers of color. Yeah, you know, like, you, know you could just keep pressing you can just A keep for the whole entire a. race. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, for at least for these short races, if you have level 99 stamina with an E, uh... 
you'll still have enough stamina to just hit it the yeah. whole way through. So it, it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, as exactly. Much. Yeah, but like a level ninety nine run running chow with an A or an S will fucking fly past an E run, running 99, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, that matters a lot more. See, this is very analytical. Like, it's, yeah, it like, gets it's very... Way, like, like it's, it's fucking crazy how this is just kind of like a side part of this game, but, like, it's so much better than the game itself. Yeah. Like, I don't... F- like, like, we played the story because that's what I assume most people played this game for the story and the main quest yeah. and stuff right but like this they put so much work actually into the side stuff yeah into like this whole chow thing it's it's really a game in itself yeah yeah it's a game in a game that's exactly right but it's better than the real game yeah <laughs> it would be like if uh like you're playing um i don't know um uh so it's, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, yeah. and then you you're playing. They came from Uranus, the the game within the game where you're like just it's like yeah. a little NES style game, or um, and it was like better than San Andreas. Yeah, it's like uh, Demon Tower and Night in the Woods. Oh yeah. Um, except uh, I like Night in the Woods better than <laughs> Demon Tower. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. So I mean, there's also Chow Karate. And like they'll they'll fist fight each other. Yeah. Like you'll f- it's like cockfighting, um, but like their stamina and power are really like the only. Well, they all all of the stats matter in a much less direct way, other than power. Power obviously is like the best. You'll hit the chow harder, but like speed will determine like how fast it like Reacts attacks and stuff. so it's almost like pokemon kind of a little bit but not as good as pokemon i got a prize by the way you got um, a rattle yeah uh when you beat the when you get there you beat the third race for the chow you win a prize uh-huh um and same goes with like the more advanced races when those get unlocked yeah so he just has these beginner races here and and eventually there's like adult races i mean it's, it doesn't mean you need an adult chow but it just means that it's not unlocked yet uh-huh um what the fuck wait what oh yeah i rem- oh yeah there's this bug on the pc version where when you go into that cave and come out the fruits take on like a random texture yeah it's yeah, the that's right. weirdest fucking thing i remember that yeah that ne- i don't think that ever happened in the gamecube one at least not as far as i yeah know. i don't i don't remember that happening yeah. um I just want to feed a weird demon fruit to yeah. Plebis. Um, it almost looks like a real fruit. Yeah, but it like, looks like an avocado kind of. Yeah, but like sometimes like uh, it'll be like the sky texture. Yeah. And it's kind of like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Should we talk about this weird glitch? I don't know if we could do it on here or not. Yeah, you can try. Um, it was down there. Yeah, it was right there. Yeah, there was this weird glitch where if you keep jumping into the wall... Um, you would, you would slip through the corner, and you'd kind of be able to fly around the skybox. I don't know if it, they probably fixed. I it. I feel like that they fixed it for the PC version. Yeah. Um, but it was pretty easy to do in the GameCube one. Yeah, the fact that I haven't done it yet is probably means yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was. I wish I could. I could do it, but yeah, you kind of you, you you if you keep jumping and you do it the right way, um, kind of like this, you'll eventually kind of slip through. And then you'll start flying around where the sky box is, and you can actually go beyond it. Yeah. And then you'll kind of see off in the distance the you know inverse um, cloud texture that they use for the sky box, and you can kind of just fly around until you get back into the the actual Chow Garden. Yeah, it's super and then weird. It's, it goes back to normal. Yeah. But yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah. Um, let's see what. It's a shame that. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, when you... So right now, we only have this garden. This is like your the normal garden. Um, oh, you woke it up when it was sleeping. No. I was pissed off. Uh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. It's actually good to do that. Yeah. Because it, he stands still for so long. Um, but if you, if you get a chow and evolve it into a hero adult chow, which if you let this thing sit for long enough, it would because it's so white. Um, it would, uh, you would unlock the hero garden 
for the first chow that you did it with. Um, and then the same thing for a dark chow, an evil chow. You it would you would unlock the dark, dark garden, yeah. And like the hero garden kind of looks like heaven, like it's kind of like angelic, and like there's like waterfalls ponds and, and ponds stuff. and and in like Greek looking fucking architecture and shit. And then the dark garden looks like hell. It, it's it, there's like a river of blood, yeah, and and, and, and right. like like wrought iron fucking. Shit and, shit and and, yeah. and like fucking it's scary. It's like Jesus, cr- like calm down, Chow. Fuck. <laughs> what is your problem? Yeah. Um. What I always thought was funny was because in in the GameCube version in Sonic Adventure Two Battle, um, there were certain differences in the Chow Garden, in particularly the the light and dark garden. Yeah. And um, and then in Sonic Adventure Two. The, the regular Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast, um, there were, like, bridges or something Yeah, in the it gardens. seemed like that there was more in the gardens in the Dreamcast version of the game. And it, it was always, like, weird to us because that was still back when, like, the internet was kind yeah, of Yeah, you couldn't really us. look that shit up. So you'd yeah. kind of, like, depend on rumors or whatever. Yeah, you'd see, like, a picture in, like, a magazine or maybe, like, a picture on the internet somewhere, like a random site or something. But there was no, like, you couldn't, wiki like, or anything. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't really look it up. So it was kind of, like, this weird, like, like I wonder where, like... I think I remember when we were younger... We thought we, always, we could unlock it or something. Yeah, or, like, we thought it was, like, the Japanese version of the game yeah. or something like that. Like, we didn't really know. And then I think we heard through a rumor, like, oh, it's on the Dreamcast version. Um, it has, like, this bridge or whatever. And, like, we didn't really know anyone that had... Um, yeah. There was a friend of mine that um, actually had a Dreamcast, and he was the only person I knew that had a Dreamcast... And, and Sonic Adventure 2 to to um, see it. But I don't think I have actually ever had the chance because we didn't really hang we out We never that. went to his house and, and played it or anything. Yeah, yeah. so like... I'm actually curious because this, this version here is not Battle. This is like a, a PC port almost of the Dreamcast version. Yeah, so I would think it might I'm have actually that. curious, yeah, to Let's, see if like the Hero Garden... Not that we would have time to... Yeah, because we only It takes some... a long time to do it, yeah. Um... Yeah, this was kind of... We just wanted to give a small insight of what the whole Chow thing is. Yeah. If you don't... You know, if you're watching this and you obviously grew up with the game or you played the game a lot, you would know. You would know all this shit. But, yeah, for us, it's... um, You know, this was like probably like a quarter of our childhood. Yeah. It was, it was just <laughs> dropping animals in front of Chow. It's like, so there's a true. lot of time that we... Lot, wasted. Lot, yeah, a lot of neurons firing right now in my head for the it's just like especially like when we're playing in the levels and then you're like we're trying to find the animals like when we're trying to find the otters yeah. and like like it was, you're it like, was like hot and cold with my brain like yeah. oh, warmer warmer yeah. Yeah, but you can't quite put your finger oh, on it. It's you. so trippy. I could tell you exactly uh the um uh, fuck um the gorilla was the power animal. Yeah. And I think you could... And the thing is, you need to know not only where, uh, like, you can find, like, the best animal for whatever, uh... uh, uh the ability you're trying to get. Yeah. It. But also the dark version of it, too. So, like, you need to know where to get an otter for either Eggman, uh, Shadow, or Rouge. Because you might... Have might want to raise a dark chow. Yeah, well, no, I guess that's not true, right? Because it, you could just drop the animals off and then leave and come back as another character. No, I, I thought if you leave the the chow garden entirely, the whole chow area, then the animals reset. Because there's no cheetahs around. There'd still be a few cheetahs. Well, really? Because I thought you just you replaced them, though, with the otters and the, and the things. No, I, really? Yeah, I mean, unless you switch as hero characters but i thought i remember we had to that like there had to be a reason why we would have to find those animals as a dark version too yeah because i do remember that i remember the easiest way to get condors or vultures yeah it was or in that like canyon level yeah, or the something. shadow yeah it's yeah. like right at the beginning yeah so you'd have to figure out like an animal to find at the very beginning yeah too like, something that you, you don't have to play, like, the whole level, essentially, to find. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, whoa. Oh Ooh. god, you're fucked. Yeah. It's such such a fucking crazy like muscle memory type thing. Just something that you repeat long enough. And, and then, then you're already at like 40. You're like halfway to like maxing it out. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. that's a problem if it keeps falling asleep. Um There's a uh, child daycare. There's daycare in this. Oh, so, yeah. so not child, chow. Um so there's like certain uh like abilities that it can learn which don't help you at all in the races or anything like that. Uh they're kind of just for fun. Yeah. There's like I, a certain types of dancing or activities. drawing or whatever. Yeah, little activities that these things can do just in random times in the garden. Um and in the k kindergarten there's a daycare center and you oh god, you drop drop them off there for a while and then they'll like learn some new thing yeah it's like shake dance is always like the one that i always see for some reason yeah but yeah i do remember painting um and i remember because like i think you get like a canvas as a prize eventually for the um yeah the garden from a race and um or marker you, or something. Yeah, it's something. Like, no, it was like pages on the ground with crayons next yeah. to it or something. So, you know, if your chow doesn't know how to draw, then it's kind of useless um, until the chow does know how to draw. I think that's what I remember, though. It sounds kind of right. I know that because, um, like, you did those the mushroom for mushroom forest races, uh, and you got the rattle. So if we, like, waited around, you would kind of just see the chow just kind of playing with its rattle. Yeah. Like, every, like, so, like, the prizes that you get kind of just... They're not for the individual chow. They're kind of for, like, the whole garden. No, it's for the individual chow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, there were some, I remember. Like, there's a TV. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, uh, yeah. that would just sit around afterwards. Yeah. Well, that, yeah... Because that would just be in the garden, right? Yeah, that would just Once you around. unlock the TV, it would just there would just be a TV in all of the gardens that you Yeah, have. and then any chow could kind of watch. Yeah. Um, but the rattle is more... It's almost like an ability that it can do, kind of. Yeah. Are yes. you trying to get it up to 99? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I was just kind of doing something, like, in the background. Because at this point now, it's kind of like we've kind of gone around and seen and probably talked about as much as we we could i, I mean could you could race. have it do a, a water race right yeah now. i thought that was kind of weird like you you have to go into a cave to get to the chow race yeah. area like it was just kind of odd it's super weird it's it's like there's so much like lore and programming around the chow yeah and, around the, and it's like such an odd thing to have in this game okay so Here's the thing, right? So this is Sonic Adventure 2. There was Sonic Adventure 1, and those had Chow stuff also. But it was, like, much Not more as, limited. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think people really liked it in that game, and so they had Sonic Adventure 2. But then they had a whole team dedicated to Chow shit. Um, yeah, you can see this fucking... Like, they can't even swim. Yeah, they're just kind of... That fucking sound, though. Is, yeah, I know. God, Jesus. Uh, I've actually, for this uh, series, I've turned the the volume of the uh, of the game down quite a bit, just because, like, more than normal. Yeah. yeah, because there's just so many like sound effects that are way too loud and stuff. I mean, obviously, you should keep the the volume down anyway. Yeah. But um, you know, more in this game than like Gex, for example. Right. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, Sonic Adventure 1 on the Dreamcast came out, and then Sonic Adventure 2 did, and, you know, it basically looked like this. Um, and then, uh, that was right when Nintendo and Sega kind of started having a... Because they were rivals, like, bitter rivals, yeah. like, early on in the video game stuff. And, uh, then, like, right around th this game's era, um... That was when they kind of merged together. Sort of, yeah. Like, Sega stopped making their own consoles. Like, Dreamcast was their last one. And then they started licensing their software out to Nintendo, which is probably kind of painful for them at the time. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Uh... So, this game came out. There was a port for this game on the GameCube... 
But the weird thing is that this game ported first. So, like, we we were Nintendo fanboys. We never had a Genesis yeah. or Sega shit at all. And, in fact, like, without the internet and without really, like... Because, like, we only had Nintendo power. We kind of weren't exposed to the Sega other, stuff yeah. much at all. And so, like, we kind of... Like, we knew about Sonic, but we didn't know when a new game came out and stuff. Um... And then so this game came out for GameCube and we were like, oh shit, there's a Sonic game on GameCube. And then so we we bought it and then we fell in love with the Chow shit. And then Sonic Adventure DX, DX came out for GameCube. And we were like, what? Wait, what the fuck? And then we were like, oh, so... And then like it took us a while to realize that like this sequel came out first for GameCube, like, in reverse order. Yeah. Um, And then, like, we were, like, super fucking confused, and so we played that game, and we were like, well, this game is, like, shitty. Like, there's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's, like, way slower paced, and the animation's worse, and the Chow Garden sucks. Like, what the fuck were they doing? Again, that game came out first, and it just took longer to port, probably because the programming was all weird. Um... So we never really played that game much. So to us, it's just like Chow stuff is just Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, right? we just never really bothered with Sonic Adventure 1. And yeah, that one, I think I remember all you really did was you just kind of had the Chow. You could probably feed it. There weren't really any powers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And I don't think there were races. I mean, you just I, just I can't never, remember. Like, yeah, it just never, yeah. And I think there's just like the one area for the Chows. There's this like kind of creek or something. Nice. Um, I yeah, I don't remember. Oh yeah, you need the trowel to plant, plant a tree. seeds. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. the seeds. That's right. So some of them are like important abilities actually, because now you can go to the black market. Oh, by the way, the rings when you when you play. Oh, that's another reason to uh, play the actual game is to get is rings, to get which rings. is the currency. Yeah, exactly. Rings are currency for the black market. In, in the fucking kindergarten thing over here. So if you buy a seed and give it to a chow that has the trowel unlocked from doing that race, you can plant a tree in the garden. And yeah, then, and it'll grow those fruits. Yeah, so like, go yeah, shopping. Oh, you can oh, you buy, can the, buy eggs the eggs. Okay. Yeah, and so there's different colored chows and stuff. Um, so it was like hero fruit, chow fruit. I forgot what the chow... Oh, s skills, skills fruit. fruit. What? I don't know. Triangular and delicious. Square and delicious. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, so if you buy these seeds, there seems to be a lot more. I remember these, though. I remember, like, you can. Like, there are things you'd put on. On the chow's heads, head, yeah. yeah. Very nutritious mushroom. Yeah, so, like, we would always get the seed. Because, like, if, like, you had, like, a chow that had, like,. Fucking like S's across the board or something like that. It would be your boy. Yeah. And it's like fuck all the other chow. Like this is my boy. So like, if it if if your chow's favorite fruit was square fruit, you'd be like, all right, I gotta go get a square seed. Yeah. And make this fucking tree. Um. I'm treating this chow right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's a shame we can't show off the other gardens. Yeah. Like it's cut. You know. You just. I mean, we we could play this for a while and cut it down and yeah. stuff like that, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we'd be playing this for hours, and it's kind of not sucked really the... in. You could go to that thing, the Chow Transfer thing. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, oh. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. So, in the GameCube version, there was way more. So, okay, so the GameCube could connect to the Game Boy Advance with this adapter, and that thing there, it's in each garden... Um, it's sort of like the interface for the for the Game Boy Advance, and you could and, and there's a game called Sonic Advance on the Game Boy Advance that I had that had a Chow Garden, um, and you could actually transfer your Chow to the Chow Garden in that game. So it was actually kind of cool, and you could almost like take your Chow on the go, right? Yeah. Um, and I remember that being really cool. That was also how you got chow like the onyx chow and there's yeah. like a the gold chow and stuff like there was like these like jewel colored chow that you could get only in the sonic game on the game boy advance and then you can bring them into this game yeah. and you'd be like whoa because it's all shiny and yeah black and, and there's shit. like no other way to get them unless yeah. you have like a action, action replay, replay yeah. yeah which we did do what well, yeah there's this 
cheat system for the GameCube called the Action Replay. It's kind of like the Game Shark or the yeah, Game Genie or yeah, something. It, yeah, and um, it, it basically rewrote oh. bytes, you know, memory in memory, because these games, the memory management is not RAM. Um, but, uh, yeah. See, like, he's just going to throw it away. Yeah, because he doesn't know how to put it on his head. Yeah, so if, if you gave him a skeleton dog, he'd put it on his head. Uh, that might be a way to end the episode, because yeah. I know what how long we are in... Well, if you go to Pumpkin Hill, you can get a skeleton skeleton dog, but you can also get a ghost, and that'll get rid of its feet, and oh, it'll yeah, be like right. a ghosty chow. So you do that, too. We've been recording for, like, 50 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Been a long time, been a long time. Oh, uh, where was the ghost? Was it the same area, or...? Oh, uh, man, this is harder for me. There's, okay, see that train down there? Uh-huh. Yeah, go down there, and then whistle on that thing. Oh. Damn it, Knuckles. Oh, no, that was a... Oh, it's another cheetah. Oh, cheetah. Uh, it was somewhere around here. In, it was, like, one of these little, like, alcove things. Oh, there's a bat. The oh, bat did the actual... something. It was the bat, the skeleton dog, and the... Or no, was it just the bat? I don't think a goat... I don't think there is a there ghost. Is no it's, ghost. It's a bat. It's a bat and a skeleton dog. The bat will get rid of its feet. Um, the skeleton dog will do the hat thing. That's right. Well, let me... Uh... Yeah, it's not there. I'm... Oh, you know what? The skeleton dog's by the church. Oh. But try to get the, the bat. Yeah, where was... Ooh. It was up and to the right. Yeah. Uh, it was in a cage. Oh, maybe. You had to blow it up with the. Yeah, right here. Might as well get these pesky. Stupid chaos emeralds. emeralds yeah, pieces. For jerks, yeah. 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 All right, get the fuck out of here. Alright. Um. Yeah, where was the church at? First of all, I want to get some... Oh, shit, you... Oh, it's... Oh, fuck. I just want to get some ring. Okay. Or a ring. A ring. A ring. Or not. Fuck it. Just fucking... Just do it. Oh, my... Okay. It's like my eyes are getting, like, fucking tired. Yeah, mine too. Oh, Jesus. Mine too. Yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, this will be the last thing we do. There it is, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's it's back. It's right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Skeleton Dog. That's my band name, actually. <laughs> don't worry, but don't worry, but don't worry, don't buddy. Worry, don't, buddy. Worry. don't worry, buddy. Yeah, that was a thing too, because you, you you know if you're if you want to raise like a hero or a dark chow. Yeah. So you might need to do the trick because sometimes you got to do it multiple times uh -huh. to get it right. Um, yeah. The skeleton dog you only have to feed once. It doesn't give you anything. Actually, the the weird thing about the skeleton dog, too, is it'll take away animal parts. So, like, if you wanted to get rid of its little otter feet, you need to give it skeleton dogs. Ooh. And, um... And, uh, yeah. It'll start to get rid of the shit. Well, oh. except for in this case, because it, it gives you a little... Yeah, it's a ghosty now. All right, let me give it just the skeleton dog. Yeah. Woohoo! All right, and then you take. Hopefully, it should be able to put it on its head. It might still throw it away. Oh, oh there it goes. Yay! Yeah. I remembered. Yeah. So there you go, and it just goes. It just goes to sleep. Yep. Um, I remember that uh, when you're knuckles or rouge, you can dig in the ground, and you'll dig up pumpkins. Oh, yeah. That's or right. or yeah, skulls, skulls. Yeah, in the right. dark garden. Yeah, and then it can put those on its head, too. It was like pumpkins in this garden and the hero garden, I think, but it was skulls in the other one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. When you say certain things, like, like the little features and stuff, it unlocks. It these triggers things. your head. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's right. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of, like, many, a couple other things. Uh, you could copy Chow. If you if you exploit, like, the um, Game Boy Advance thing, you could actually duplicate Chow. 
Uh, but it was hard to do. Um. Eat. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Yeah, there's just other little tricks and stuff like that. You know, it was just... And the weird thing, too, is that we would know all these tricks, but again, it was before the time of, like, the internet. So you'd either learn through someone else or, like, you know, you'd read about it. Nintendo something Power Nintendo or something, Power, yeah. yeah. I mean, there were actually... I take that back. There were actually... Um, there were some sites that were dedicated to, like, chow information. Um, they wouldn't really have too many pictures and stuff, but it was, like, back in the days of GeoCity. Yeah. I do remember that. That was my first website. My oh, yeah. first website ever made was a chow website. I made it in, like, fifth grade. It was a GeoCity site. And it was dedicated to chow raising and, and info tips and, stuff. and info and shit like that. And I remember I was really, uh, proud of it because, uh... I found, like, two pieces of Chow artwork, and, like, one of them was, like, normal, and the other one was, like, smiling. And I, if you hovered over it with your mouse, it would change between the two. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. Yeah. Now it's I'm like fucking right writing your... C-sharp and shit. Yeah. It's, like, right above the, your fucking page counter and guest book. And, on um, fire, the numbers yeah, are on fire. Yeah, the numbers fire. are on fire, yeah, Oh, of fuck course. yeah. Or maybe digital, like, green digital, Ooh. like Matrix. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what if it was like Matrix Chow Geo Cities website? Like you can't describe two thousand and one <laughs> better than that. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, well anyway, anyway, yeah, that's so this is probably gonna cap off our whole thing. Huh? Yeah, for Sonic Adventure two. Uh yeah, that's this is gonna be the last one. Uh yeah, we just wanna make this episode because we kind of figured that the Chow Garden is really the the big for us, the big memorable thing of this game. Yeah. And it... We would I mean, kind you of could be just doing... see how many fucking things we remember. Just, yeah. you know... And, like... You know, it, it would kind of be an injustice to, to do a Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough and not yeah. have an episode about the Chow. Because that's that was... Yep. For us, that was the big thing. It's true. But, yeah. Anyway, yep. So, I guess, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh... See you next time on another game. Yep, see you later, everybody, for whatever game replaces this one. Wow. Might be... It's, pro it's probably, probably going to be Spy Fox. Fox. Yeah, yeah, it's probably going to be Spy Fox. Yeah.